Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting edition of Bonga Geekdom. Today we're doing a haul video for the month of August, and yeah, my voice is a little messed up at the moment. It sucks, I hate it, but what you gonna do? Let's get started real quick, let's not waste time, and give you my thoughts on all the cool books I got, and some very awesome anime as well. From Seven Seas Entertainment, the first book that we're going to mention here is Yakuza Reincarnation. Finally, we are at volume 10 of this series. I love this one. One of my favorite ongoing isekai at the moment. I love the art. I think it is phenomenal all the way through. The story takes a little bit to get going, but once it does, you can't put it down. I highly recommend this one. Basically, a Yakuza ex Yakuza boss gets reincarnated after he is betrayed into the body of a a samurai type princess in another world. It's filled with drama, fantasy creatures, mythological concepts, and just fantastic visuals overall. I highly recommend it. Mysterious Disappearances Volume 2. I love how it tackles the supernatural and folklore, urban legends and stuff like that with the context of being a mystery series, solving crime and all that stuff. Now there are bits of not safe for work etchiness, but and they're not really that necessary, but it's all right. I don't mind it too much. You know, we got a main character with a lot of personality to her and that's always fun. But this second volume concludes the mystery from the first one with the slight spoilers human combustion case and it moves forward with the next one which mixes legends of ghosts knocking on doors and water fiends and a bunch of cool stuff i do recommend it Next up, we have Volume 3 of Sawada and the House of Monsters. This is one of my favorite current ongoing manga that I'm reading. I love this series so much, and the first volume is actually nominated for one of the best new series at the American Manga Awards. I am so happy that I get to read this book and uh, learn more about this world. It's super fascinating as you have these creatures constructing houses for monsters after peace has been established between demons and humans and all that stuff. There's a lot of slice of life elements, some um, healing aspects to it. I love the architecture of this and the way the houses are built and the schematics and all that stuff. Just overall, a really pleasant fantasy series. Cannot recommend it enough. And of course, here are the spines for these three Seven Seas books. From Kodansha, I should say vertical, but you know what I mean. The Gods Lie from Kaori Ozaki. You might remember on my last video that I did covering first impressions, I talked about Mermaid Prince and how this was my first exposure to Ozaki's work. And I learned about this book, The Gods Lie. It's a one and done story. Can't wait to get into it. I was recommended in the comment section of that video to check this one out. So here I am with this. Can't wait. And when I do a reading vlog, I will definitely talk a little bit more about this book but I love the art the textured feel of the book is great and I am super excited I don't know much about it I went in completely blind so I hope to like it just as much as I did with a mermaid prince Volume 25 of Rent a Girlfriend, with my favorite of the girlfriends on the cover. I am a fan of the series, obviously, if I'm 25 volumes in, I'm, if I didn't, I'd be a hypocrite. It's silly, it's fun, I dig it, I like the art, I like the characters. You read it for the absurdity of the plot, and of course, the girlfriend characters. They're the highlight of the series, not the main protagonist, he's pretty bad. Here are the two spines for the Kodansha books, as well as the covers. From Yen Press, we got three releases. The first one here is Go 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 Ghost Volume 1. This Jose Supernatural comedy series looks phenomenal. I uh, the, the thing that hooked me on when I first saw this was the art. It looks really good. I love series that are drawn in this style. I will be doing a first impressions soon covering this and a bunch of other books. So be on the lookout for that. I got volume 3 of The Summer Hikaru Died. This series is phenomenal, super stressful, and tense as hell. A good supernatural story with bits of cosmic horror. Also, who the heck designed this? I, I, I get the idea of wanting an all yellow book, but I can not read the font here because of the white lettering. I think it's bad. That's just my personal opinion. Compared to volume 1, this one's a bit of an eyesore. 
I also have here with me volume 12 of Tales of Wedding Rings from Maybe. I can't show you too much inside because this is the climax of the story and them facing off against the Demon Lord. A bunch of interesting developments happen, but it all looks great. Uh, there are bits of fan service uh, sprinkled throughout each volume, but it's one of those things where I just uh, playfully ignore it. Still, I love Maybe's art. That's a good chunk of the reason why I continued collecting this series. It's just one of those things, you know? Here are the three spines and the covers. Next up, a bunch of books I got from different companies. First one is a Dark Horse book. We have Captain Momo's Secret Base, Volume 1 from Kenji Suruta. And I cannot show you what's inside. I can only show you just one page. That's it. 99% of the book, the main character is naked. And essentially, she is traveling through space. She's sort of a cargo lifter in a spaceship crossing the galaxy on her mission. So there's not a lot to do. And she's bored. So, you know you want as little as clothing as possible to be more comfortable and I can say even though the character's nude all the time it is not played on a uh, sexual or sensual manner it's just something that you do to stay as comfortable as you can while you're completely alone. The only other living thing in this ship is her pet cat which is adorable. From Titan Manga, we got Witch of Thistle Castle Volume 4. This is the final volume. This completes this series. I want to share my thoughts on it, but not here. I am going to do a reading vlog where I will discuss all four volumes and the series in total and my thoughts on it. But pretty interesting. I, I love the uh, whimsical dark fantasy aspects. A really nice underrated manga, I would like to think. From Fantagraphics, here is Search and Destroy. This is by Atsushi Kaneko. This is a contemporary reimagining of one of my favorite fantasy series, Dororo from Osamu Tezuka. I cannot wait to talk about this more in depth on another video. I think this is how you do reimaginings. It stays relevant, does a really good job of honoring the original while giving us new aspects of the story. Here are the spines and the covers for these three books. And finally, we got some Viz Media releases. The first one here is Dark Gathering Volume 8. I believe we have one or two more volumes to go, and then we'll be caught up with what I saw in the anime, which ran for 24 episodes, covered a lot of volumes. So I am interested to read past the point of the show and, and find out what happens with the characters and uh, their battle against the supernatural entities. Next up, a big shout out to my friend Tim for surprising me with volume two here of Dandadan. I do like Dandadan, but I don't have room for Shonen Jump series. A Dark Gathering is an exception. I went ahead and picked volume one just to say that I owned a piece of it, but Tim got tired of me looking for Dandadan at stores, at retail. I don't have a lot of places to go to find manga, so my local Walmart typically carries a lot of manga books. However, it's been half a year, I think, and they haven't put out anything new. It's always the same series that you might expect. You know, your Black Clovers and Chainsaw Man and Demon Slayer, One Piece, stuff like that. And Dandadan, they are up to date, but Volume 2 never got a restock. And it was sort of a joke between the two of us that I wanted to get Dandadan on volume two if I saw it physically myself with my own eyes at Walmart. Tim took the opportunity and grabbed it for me and uh, surprised me with it. So I have to continue reading Dandadan and give you my thoughts on it. But it, it's a pretty popular series. You, you've probably already heard about it. I'm not going to share anything new, but if you're interested, I will be doing a video soon where I include this in one of the reading vlogs. So there you go. <laughs> From Tatsuki Fujimoto, we have Look Back. This is a short story that I've been wanting to own. I completely forgot to grab it. I also need the Goodbye Eddie one shot as well. Both are excellent. A lot of people prefer Look Back over Eddie. I like them both, honestly. And uh, yeah, I wanted to own them. I have uh, some of the Tatsuki Fujimoto stuff. I don't own Chainsaw Man or Fire Punch, but I did want to own the uh, short story collections and the one shot releases at least. Here is volume 11 of Record of Ragnarok. Fantastic series, super slow paced, even though it's about fighting. But finally, we have volume 11. We've come a long way in collecting this series. Still a long way to go. 
One of my favorite samurai manga of recent memory, this is Steel of the Celestial Shadows, Volume 3. I loved Volume 2, bringing us more magical users, exploring the backgrounds of the characters, and I'm just fascinated with the character art here. I love how the villains and the hero and everybody looks. It's so refreshing to me, it's so unique. I love the cartoonish style to it, but the seriousness in which it is presented makes it pretty memorable, in my opinion. And finally, we have a hardcover book, Junji Ito's story collection, Alley. I have not read this. I need to catch up. I have a bunch of Junji Ito books that I have not read. I was sort of burnt out on Ito books. I decided to get everything and have a full collection because I do like the man and I do like his, his writing and, and drawings. But at some point, it was like too much if you know what I mean. So I step back and I just grab them uh, so that I don't have to get them later. Uh, they're not going to go out of print or anything, but you know, uh, get that out of the way. And uh, this is one of them. We had the summer sale for Sentai Filmworks and they had a bunch of stuff on sale. It was tempting. I could have splurged and irresponsibly bought dozens of Blu-rays, but I scaled back and just grabbed seven particular discs. It should have been eight. I'll tell you in a bit. But the first one here is Space Brothers number zero. I have the full series, was missing the movie, which is a prequel to the series. And now I have a complete set. It looks fantastic. I love Space Brothers and I've been dying to watch this movie. Lupin the Third Part 6. I love Lupin. I have a few of the Blu-rays. I love the manga. Unfortunately, I stopped collecting because there's so much to get. I decided to not grab the TV specials and OVAs and stuff like that or the films and just focus on the TV seasons or the parts, if you will. And I just, to be honest, I totally forgot to do that, even though I'm saying it right now. So when I saw this was on sale, I decided, you know what? Okay, let's save up a little bit of cash and, and grab the loop on the third TV shows. So here we have part six and unfortunately part five is out of print and climbing up in price. I also need to grab part three, two, and one. <laughs> so it's a long way to go for my loop on collection. But next to it, here we have Lupin Zero, the ONA, if I remember correctly, sort of a mini prequel of Lupin when he was growing up. So yeah, there we go. Time to honor my word and, and get a full set of the TV shows for Lupin the Third. Another series that I've been wanting to own since I saw it, I think it aired on Adult Swim, if memory serves me right, is Parasite the Maxim. I don't enjoy the manga that much, but I did like the anime adaptation, so I went ahead and picked up, finally, the complete collection set here from Sentai. And I do want to point out, I love what Sentai does when releasing these titles and the deals you can get and buying them on sale and stuff, that's always great, but these are the most boring releases that you can get as an anime collector. I hate that there's no slipcover, there's no interior art, there's no booklet or leaflet or whatever you want to call it. It's just so boring and sterile. It is not appealing for an anime fan. Chihaya Fudu. I've been wanting to grab for a while and I just kept putting it off because of the price. I couldn't get season one because I got to the sale too late. It was going for $10 only, 25 episodes. That's pretty good. I missed it and I had to pick up season two and three at least. So yes, only one more set to go and I'll have the full anime. Finally, Food Wars, the third plate. If you've been watching this channel for a while, I have done yearly uh, anime collection videos on all the stuff I got on my Blu-ray shelf. And I always mention, oh, here is Food Wars. And I always said, oh, I'll get the other ones whenever they go on sale. And that sort of just grew into not getting them. <laughs> I couldn't grab four and five, but they're not too difficult to find. So expect that soon. And by soon, like I really mean it. Not, I'm not going to wait like five more years to grab them. <laughs> So there it is, folks, my haul for the month of August. Uh, there is some stuff missing, which you'll see in the next haul video. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I am so sorry this was a quick video. I, I feel fine, but my voice is all messed up. Uh, I've been straining it too much, and uh, this is the result. So I'm, I'm struggling here to form complete sentences. I'd rather stay quiet and not talk. If you want me to review a specific product, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button. Comment down below with your favorite pickup 
up. And of course, I do want to promote my Discord, which the link is in the description below. It's a really nice, wholesome community of like-minded nerds talking about toys and anime, manga, film. I invite you to join and uh, chill with us as we uh, geek out over all the cool news and stuff. So consider that. Also, follow me on social media, subscribe, share the video, all that fun stuff. You know what to do. That's going to be it for now. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.